Apes do not want war, but we'll fight if we must. Okay, we're back. How's everybody doing? Ape home. Human home. Do not come back. <laughs> Please tell me y'all remember that in the, um, what is it, War for the Planet of the Apes a couple years back? Like, he talks! I just seen a snippet of that not too long ago. And I'm a kid, and I'm going to just keep on mimicking it. So, we're going on to Rose. We have, man, we're, we're done. Honestly, man, I, I kind of don't want it to end. This is very weird because normally gaming fatigue will set in i've been playing this for a long time and gaming fatigue hasn't set in i'm actually enjoying this and i'm happy that you all are enjoying this i am so ecstatic but all good things must come to an end but like i said street fighter 5 how many times i attempt to read the future the so we got the second alternate then we got the third alternate then we will move on to yin yang hugo and that's it the card of reckless heroism. Oh man, I'm tired. Oh, this is day seven! Day seven of an eight day work week. I it's it's day seven and it's Friday night. I got Saturday. Saturday night, I should be good, I hope. And honestly, I'm not even angry because today I got a ticket. Offer aid in the quest <laughs> to destroy like, How did you get a ticket? This well, I was racing the Dunkin' Donuts this morning. I always get a ticket when, when, when Dunkin' Donuts is involved. My last ticket, I was leaving work. Went to Dunkin' Donuts and I sped off. So this morning they put a new, um... Oh, not bad. Oh, the balcony! Look at that, boys and girls. Ready? All Let's of you attack. colorful people in between. The the balcony, we could all appreciate. <laughs> but yeah, I got a ticket, and it's, it sucks. It's, I know it's gonna come in the mail, but it's funny because I just got my tax return. And I'm like, I'm having a good time. I just bought Super Mario RPG. Came in the mail. I bought um, what a, you took away my perfect. Uh, I think a few days ago I just bought. Uh, What's it called? Modern Warfare 2. The um the new now? one. Fight! I have all of them. I have yeah, yeah. I've never played them. The only one I've played was Black Ops, and I never beat Black Ops, the first Black Ops. I love Black Ops, the first one. Never beat it. I just like to secure the keys! Rain down! Judgment! They were all running the prisoners. I enjoyed that. So I want to get Black Ops 3. I think that came out, right? Not too long ago. And maybe, um, what is it? Black Ops, what is, no, what is it? Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I have Black Ops 3. A long time ago. Never played it. Have Black Ops 2, never played it. Then Vanguard. Then Cold War, I think that's the last one. Only one I've beat was Advanced Warfare for the PlayStation 4 when it first came out. I was blown away by it because how it looked. Advanced Warfare. But I have them all, just about. I even have, I don't have the, um, I take that back, I don't have the World of War II ones. I kind of like it when it's steeped in modernized world stuff. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have any Cold War. I do have... Not Cold War, but um, I don't have any World War 1 or 2. I do have that on the Battlefield side. Never played it. I think I have, I have Battlefield 1 and 2. And 5, I should say. Those are like World War stuff. I have on the PC and the Xbox One, I think. And, uh, oh, I'm getting Resident Evil for the GameCube. I can't wait to get that. And, uh, I don't know. I think that's it for now. Now, I'm trying to pace myself. It's been a while since I had maybe a couple of dollars in my pocket. So pace yourself, young man. 
And so I got a ticket, so that's kind of funny, you know. I'll show you my dance. You ready? Let's get started. Fight! If this is a balcony we can all appreciate. Why does her feet make that sound? <laughs> Dag, man. She pimp smacked me with her feet. She was like, where's my money, you... I didn't say it in an African accent, did I? Okay, let me see it in an African accent. Where is my money, you... You do not take my money from me. Got her. Do not take my money. I want to dance. Ah! <laughs> I love that. Ah! That they do. Are you hurt? Pick up the pace! This outfit that she's wearing kind of reminds me of Lulu. Is it Lulu? Is it Lulu? Lulu, right? Lulu. Is it Lulu? From um, Final Fantasy X? Is it Lulu? Kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Is it Lulu? I can't remember her name, man. That was... Man, that was... 2001, 2002, man. Lulu, it, it is, it has to be Lulu. It just feels like Lulu. You win. Yeah, that's a pretty nice balcony. That's kind of funny that um, Elena and Akuma are friends. That is such like a weird, odd couple of friendship. Elena and Akuma. He's just like, fine, whatever. It's like she's so cute and adorable, he just can't resist. Right? He just, he can't kill her. But it's Lulu, I believe. I believe it's, I'm not sure. I don't know, my favorite Final Fantasy actually was uh, Who was the first Final Fantasy I got? But I don't know, it's I beat seven. No, I I've never beaten seven, excuse me. I lied. I remember back in the 2009 period. For whatever reason, I was like, I gotta get Final Fantasy VII for the PlayStation No. And it's funny because I think I, I won a bid for $70 at the time. A mint copy. I'm not sure if it's black or Do I see it? Uh, I don't see it. Do I see it? No, I don't see it. I had caffeine today. I did, I did something with the Dunkin' Donuts. I'm all over the place today. Destination confirmed. I've been fighting poison a lot here. It's the battle of the balcony and the bakery. Let's have some fun. Let's get started. I, I'm honestly just jealous of her, her, her abs. Like, if I was a woman. I would want to have a tone abs, like nothing else. Just tone abs like that. You know what I'm saying? I want tone abs like her. Honestly, I would take her abs now. I don't know, I don't feel like being like gross about how she's dressed and dominatrix stuff. You know, I just want the abs. And honestly, <laughs> I don't think this is a safe stage for her. With all those black African, <laughs> those black, <laughs> the only African guys in the back, all the black guys in the back. Oh my goodness! Look at what she is wearing. Ah. <laughs> Please don't ban me, YouTube. <laughs> I mean well. I do. I mean well. I love everyone. But it's just hilarious that these two women are fighting and a bunch of African rebels are watching. It just, it's, it's just like, I don't feel safe for them. I didn't. I didn't feel safe for them. I mean, these kids are just as bad. These kids love carnage. Except that kid there, he's just chilling. He's just, he's happy to get out the house and just have a good time. He does that the whole match. Everyone else runs around, 
You got the, the older kid telling the younger kid to hurry up. You got some more kids coming. But the chubby kid, I don't know, he's my spirit animal. Kind of reminds me of me when I was a kid. Just, right? just happy to get out the house and dance. They, these kids are gonna get tetanus. You know? They're gonna get tetanus. They love carnage, these kids. It'll take more than that. What will happen now? Let's see, he's doing that the whole time. <laughs> he's just happy. I respect that, man. I didn't lose, have I? I beat Akuma last time, didn't I? I want some food, too. I'm hungry. I'm trying to chill out. I'm not drinking Victory Punch anymore. I'm drinking Victory Tap. Okay, that's enough. Grab, grab him. Woo! Gotcha! I'm gonna get you shot! Damn. And the kids just run away like, okay, the carnage is over. The kids are evil, man. Seriously. Those kids are evil. Like, alright. Carnage is done. Seen two people wail on each other. I'm content now. Got my daily my daily fix of violence. Ready, go! How are we gonna do this? We're gonna do a kick. Ah! That one almost got away. Scarf! Kick! Scarf! I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna do something stupid. No, I am. It wouldn't be me if I just got this perfect. I have to do something stupid. It's a must. Wow. Look at me getting all mature. Oh, and this guy is playing as him last, and I had to ask um, Google about where <laughs> <has begun. laughs> Muay Thai <laughs> and about Thai fighting and Thai food, and Thai food. Something about eating babies. Nice. He's done. Okay, you can fight it all you want. But it's gonna happen. Like, uh-uh, don't move, don't move. It's already over. It's already over. You're nothing but a child. It's already over. Oh, that wasn't good. Alright. You know what? It's time. Get my nerves. If I grab my pop. Uh, and I was getting ready to scratch my ear too. Get that inner ear itch. Alright, dude. Woo! Don't move, don't move. It's over. No idea. You win! Alright, gotta put down Ryu because she's the all mother who must protect everyone and the savior of the world for some reason. Rose? That's a nice, 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 nice camera angle! You are the last hope. I cannot let you pass. 
I don't want to fight you, Rose. And they all know each other. Neither do I. I mean, I would not want to be in this. <laughs> I would not want to be in this group, this, this circle of friends, always fighting each other. Like, you pass the potato chips. What was that you said? I just want to know if you could pass the potato chips. You said you want to fight? No, I just. I, I'll get the potato chips myself. Oh crap! But this circle, if they're toxic to each other, they are. These are toxic people. Why fight all the time? Woo! But why fight all the time? I won't repeat myself. Like, uh, dude, did you? What will happen now? You know, when you finish using the bathroom, did you change the toilet paper roll? What was that? No Ooh, okay, alright. Okay, I'm definitely not a fighting Akuma. Definitely not fighting Akuma. We're not fighting Akuma. What was that? How was your day? That's all I ask you is how was your day? It's the last round! Fight! You can only find out my day through my fist. So I got I gotta fight you now just to ask you how your day went. I don't know if I grabbed him. He's backing me in the corner, don't like that. Chill out with that, my man. No! Of course he's one of them. Alright, give me that cheap! I'll take that C! Hope he blocked. I don't care, I'll wear that C. Is it a C? Nope, it wasn't a C, I actually got him. Seriously, I mean, we all love these guys, but let's be honest, if he was in their friend circle. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, these people are toxic. That's all I want to do is fight. So what do you want for dinner? What? Uh, you, you want Mexican food? Uh, Thai food? I heard they make a pretty good baby. What was that? Alright, I'm good. I'm sorry. Just talking about these toxic people here. Ooh, that was nicely timed. Ah, oh, sucky. Got him. Game blocking me. I'm getting tired now. I did take a sleep aid, so. <laughs> I took a sleep aid because I've said it before when I drink caffeine, caffeine can stay in my body a long time. The longest I've ever stayed up was for 23. No, 21 hours. Oh, no. That was interesting. Was it 21 hours? Okay, it was like this. I had to take my mom to the hospital. And so I got up at 8 o'clock. Right? That's what it was. Got up at 8 o'clock. Had two cups of cappuccino. Or, no, espresso, my bad. Okay, dude, that's enough. So and he got me. Alright, so I had two cups of um, espresso, alright? Dude, she's a lady! She's wearing a dress, guy. 
some respect. Two cups of espresso, eight o'clock. I uh, stay up late. Get a call. Take my mom to the hospital. She was feeling good. At the hospital all night. Come home five in the morning. So five, six, seven. Eight. So twenty-one hours. I've been up for twenty-one hours straight. And two cups of espresso. Okay, okay, I might lose this. I'm afraid of what he's gonna he's gonna throw a tundin out if I am. Behold the glory, the tundin engine! I figured he was gonna throw a tundin out. And stay away! It won't come out! My super! Yes, he's done. The old super to kick trick. I figured he was gonna jump over it. I was like, you know what? He's either gonna block it or jump over it, hand in a kick. So yeah, I can stay up for 23 hours on um, two cups of espresso. So that's just what I do. So I gotta take a little something to just kind of bring my bring bring it down just a little bit. Cause if I don't, like seriously, I stayed up 21 hours. Because another three hours from five, six, seven, yeah, would be eight hours. So I, I got up. I remember I just crashed. Don't you dare give into the specter of death. And I won't let you die here. It was horrible. It was depressing. I tell you that that I was exhausted and I was depressed, very depressed. So I don't suggest staying up for for over. I don't know. I don't know, my cutoff is 21. <laughs> but, we're done. We're almost to the end. We are so close. This has been great. So... Pause for dramatic effect. Until next time.